as the man of God, Senior Prophet G.F. Adetibe was ministering during one of the Sunday powerful services here at Faith and Miracle International Church. He walked up to this man and gave him a prophecy concerning his mom. There's a picture with you from somebody that is not here. Your mom from London, from abroad. Your mom. Yes. Where is she? UK. Because she's going through a lot. You understand what I mean? Her health, her body is not her own. But high blood pressure. So God is touching her. And the way is open. Thank you. The man of God prayed for his mother through him and sent a word. Indeed, there is no distance barrier in the realm of the spirit. Few days later, his mom shares her testimony to the glory of God. Mount Zion. Land of deliverance and holiness. My name is Alukwadi Remy. I am from Lagos, but recently I reside in Ibadanye, Felele. I'm into web development. Last week, Sunday, the man of God came to me. He actually told me I had a picture with me, which is for my mom. She was actually wanting to start a project. That was why I was holding the picture, wanting to pray for her, not knowing she's having health issues. So the man of God came to me and told me, the person on that picture is not from here. I said, yes, she's in London, my mom. That she's having health issues, which I didn't know about. I was confused. It was like, it's over. So immediately it touched me. I fell down and... I was, I was going outside. Immediately, I took my phone. I called my mom. She was not picking up. <sighs> then I called my younger sister immediately because I wanted to confirm. Immediately, I called my younger sister. She picked up. And she was like, don't you know mommy was going through high blood pressure? I was like, are you serious? I said, oh. I said, finally, it's over because the prophet has touched me and he has used me as a point of contact. But I was trying to get through to mom. She was not picking up. After the church service, as I was going home, she called me. I, couldn't, I didn't pick up because I was inside. I was on the bike. So when I got home, she called back. And because I texted her, I messaged her, I dropped a message for her, like, see what happened in the church. The man of God said so, 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 so thing. She said, yes, yes, yes. That was what I reply was. That she was having a high blood pressure. Yes, yes, yes. I was like, wow. I didn't know. Why didn't you tell us about this? She was like, she doesn't want to scare us. Ah. You don't want to scare us. I told her it's over. Then what surprised me was like, she said that same moment I was calling her when I went outside, that she was on the ground, that she does not know what took her to the floor. She was in the church. Glory to God. She was like, she was in the church. Then she felt like a fire, burning sensation inside of her. Then she couldn't stand. She went down. The people in the church was like looking at her like, what's wrong with this lady? I was like, when she told me that, I said, it's the hand of God that is working through the touch of Father, through me. Because he passed it through me to you. Because it was, she said, the moment I was calling her, because it wasn't up to five minutes, that it was not even up to five minutes that I went outside, and I was calling her immediately. She said, the moment I was calling her, she was on the ground, looking at the phone, she couldn't pick. So she was like, she couldn't pick up. I was, ah, I was shocked. I myself was surprised because I was like, so... The hand of God does not even know geographical area anymore. <laughs> so, and the reason why this testimony is more important to me is because 2014, when my father died, it was because of high blood pressure as well. So, with my mom having the same issue, she could have gone through that again, high blood pressure. So I was, I'm so happy. I, I just couldn't, I don't know how much joy I'm having inside of my heart. The moment... She said, it is over because she actually sent a video of herself. So I'm very happy. Congratulations for God. I appreciate God for this marvelous testimony. 
Indeed, the devil raised his ugly head again in your family. But Jesus raised a standard against him. Congratulations. I would like to ask you a question before we proceed to watching the testimony of mommy. When the man of God told you about your mom, was it that you pre-informed them before? Or you called his attention to the picture? No, I was having the picture with me. It was even covered with me like this. Like, I was trying to pray from my heart so that any prayer points, I will pray for her because she actually wanted to start a project. That was why I was holding the picture, not knowing about her health issues. So when Jesus revealed the truth about what your mom was going through, how did you feel through the man of God? I, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Because I, when, when he told me, I actually wanted to confirm from my mom. I called her immediately. She was not picking up. That's when I called my younger sister because they were together there in the UK. She, knows, she was not like, don't you know mom is going through that high blood pressure? It's been a while. I was like, are you sure? Say yes. Say because it came out from the man of God. She was like, that's true. Hallelujah. Congratulations to you and your family, sir. Now let's get to hear from your mom. My name is Felicia Alikur. I'm calling from my United Kingdom. Yeah, uh, my son called me last week. I was in charge. Uh, I was unable to pick the call. And uh, truly just to confirm the prophecy of our father, uh, JF, uh, at the Tuberu Ministry. Uh, I've been struggling with high blood pressure for some time now. But that last week, it was seriously on high side. And, you know, I just keep praying to God. And um, I was actually in church when my son called me that the prophecy from our father, Adetu Beru, says that uh, the blood pressure is over. And that particular time inside the church, I was unable to, you know, to hold myself. Yeah, inside me, it was like a fire. I was so restless. So um, I couldn't hold myself to the stand that I had to lay down on the floor in the church. So people were looking at me that, oh, what's going on with this lady? But after five minutes, yeah, I regained back myself. And ever since then, I felt so much better. And I so much believe God that it is over. It's not going to trouble me anymore. Because God has spoken. I thank God. And another thing is, I thank God for the ministry. My first son was delivered there, and same as my second son. So, which this ministry is really, really blessing my family. It's a blessing to me and my children. I so much thank God. I, I pray to God that God will continue to use our Father for everyone and each of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead and appreciate God for this marvelous testimony. Indeed, distance is not a barrier in the spiritual realm. He sent his word and he healed our diseases. Come on, appreciate God once more. So, sir, go ahead and tell us your advice. Um, let me start by saying this. She, she made mention that um, his first and second son were delivered here. My elder brother, he was the one who came here for testimony. When Papa told him that he, he was a gambler, he gambled, he gambled like 10 million right away. That's my elder brother. So I actually cannot, I don't even know where to start giving this testimony from. He's been, God is just wonderful on this Monday. And myself, I'm a work in progress, and God, in his ultimate mercy, will give me that perfection I needed in the name of Jesus. Um, viewers in the world, if you can hear me, like I said initially, I said, the hand of God does not know a geographical location. Wherever you are, if you can key in to this fit of this mountain, this commission, just listen and say, hey, amen, no matter whatever you're going through, when the man of God say, yes, believe it is yes. Bring your faith and God heal it on this mountain. 
Jesus he led on this mountain. So tell us how much did he pay that very day for the deliverance? <laughs> Indeed, Jesus is free on this mountain. So go ahead and say thank you, Jesus, for delivering my mom. Thank you, thank Jesus, Jesus, for delivering my family. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering my family. Thank you for coming to share testimony to the glory of God. Your group testimony remain permanent in Jesus' name. If you have been blessed by this video, like, follow, and share.